your bit of place. You've never found yourself before, and you're not sure just what tomorrow has in store. But we're two or three are gathered. God has promised to be there. So now in faith believing, we lift your name in prayer. acquainted with grief and sorrow the Lord knows just how much you can bear he's laid you on our hearts so now we lift you up in prayer you're in our prayers we touch the throne Reminds me, many years ago, there was an evangelist came to West Frankfurt, our big city, about nine or 10,000, set up a tent back when they used to set up tents. And he had a, a man that worked behind the scenes, never was out front. He was making cassettes back in those days. Anybody remember cassettes? You don't back there, but the rest of us do. And to remember cassettes. And he was a volunteer, and I was in construction at the time. And I said, what do you do? And he said, I'm a construction worker. And I said, well, how often do you travel? He said, as often as I can. I said, well, how do you make a living? He said, well, I've got my priorities straight. He said, let me tell you a little story. He said, years ago, my daughter Heidi, she was just four years old and she fell. And, and, and she hurt her head really bad. And they had to put a, what do you call it? Like a shunt, a shunt in her head. And she was in a coma. They didn't know if she would live or what would happen. And so they finally took her home from the hospital. But she was, I think, unconscious for quite a while. And and I don't know if it's days and weeks went by. They prayed for her. They did everything, everything they could for her. But they said nothing seemed to, to work. One morning, the man says, I went in and to, to, I heard Heidi. And Heidi was up in bed and she said, Daddy, I'm hungry. He said, it scared me so bad. I said, What's, she must, maybe she's going to die. He, he grabbed her, put a coat on her, went to the hospital to make sure. Because how could she be okay? So they took her to the hospital. When she got to the hospital, they said, I don't know, it's, she, everything's fine. They took it off, everything off of her, took her home, and it was a, a miracle. So they were talking about it, and little four-year-old Heidi said, get this, they said, Heidi, we don't know what happened, but you, you're healed. And she said, well, Daddy, last night Jesus came into my room. She said, he touched me with his hand. The family went off, friends of theirs, missionaries overseas. The parents had told the story. 
13 years later, they come, came back. Heidi's now 17. The missionary family said, Heidi, there's something we've been wanting to ask you for 13 years. When you were little, do you remember? You said Jesus came in to your room and he touched you with his hand and he healed you. Yes, I, I remember. They said, here's the question we've been waiting all these years to ask you face to face. How big is Jesus' hand? Without flinching, Heidi said, it was big enough to cover my whole body. Somebody hear that? God's hand is big enough to cover your whole body. God's hand is big enough to cover everything in your life that Satan has tried to take away from you. All the joy that he's trying to steal from you, don't worry about it. God's hand is big enough. He will move Satan out of the way. All you have to do is say, Jesus, come into my life. Please come into my heart. Forgive me for my sins. God will bring you a peace and a joy that passeth all understanding. I promise you, if you try Jesus, you'll never be sorry. Everybody here, you've all tried Jesus. Would you go back in the world? I Yvonne used to sing in the world, and she made a lot of money, Lanny, singing, but, <laughs> but she used to sing. Well, would you trade that for this? Oh, no. Never? No, never. Right. Never, never. 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 Nothing can compare. Nothing can compare. The, the, the peace and joy that you have singing for Jesus, doesn't, it doesn't compare with anything else. There's nothing better than singing for the Lord. Oh.